Welcome students to this week's Spelling Netcast. This week's um, focus comes from sort 12. Alright, let's make sure that we're ready to go before we start the lesson. Make sure you have all the needed equipment, items, pencil, glue stick. Make sure you have your scissors, your um, Ziploc bag to put your word chips in. Of course, your notebook to write your, your words in, your sorts. And of course, we can't forget our spelling list that has all of our wonderful spelling words for this week. All right, let's go ahead and pause the video and cut your words out. Go. All right, let's go ahead and begin. Let's run some glue across our heading and let's go ahead and place it at the top so we know what we're doing. Again, this is sort 12. We're dealing with um, two exemplars, actually three this week. We have um, a VCV, a VCCV, and our oddball. All right. And as we know, the, the VCV stands for vowel, consonant, vowel. And our VCCV stands for vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. And then we have our oddball. We'll put the oddball down here. I don't know if we'll have all that many, so we'll bring it down a ways. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and start with um, a couple of our words. We have um, we have super and we have supper. Awfully, awfully close, one has an extra letter, and the extra letter is a consonant. So if we look at these closely, a little more closely, we can see that um, this one right here, we have our, our vowel, the vowel of U, we have our consonant P, and we have our vowel E. And we don't have two consonants together, do we, ever in this word, so it'd have to go under this exemplar. So let's go ahead and write, again, this is super, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Okay, it's super, and then we have supper. And as you can see, we have um, our vowel, we have two consonants side by side. Interesting how they're the same consonant, and then we have our, our vowel. All right, so that would definitely go under this exemplar, and this is supper like the meal that we eat in the evening or late afternoon. All right, well, let's go ahead and do a few more. Let's go ahead and take a look at these next two. We have we have diner. Looks like diner doesn't have the double consonant like supper so diner must go under this exemplar let's check it we have our our vowel we have our consonant and our vowel okay so that's clearly going to go there if we take a look at our each time that slides on me all right let's go to our other word that's like diner we have dinner, and we can clearly see that it has the double consonant. So, let's check it. Vowel, vowel, consonant, 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 vowel, vowel. Okay. All right, let's put these off to the side, the ones that we've done. All right, let's take a look. Let's do one more. Okay, let's do a bunch of, let's do some creatures. Here we have a, a wild animal and the tiger. Rawr. Kind of a wild creature. Um, we have, it looks like a, a vowel, consonant vowel. So we'll write it under this exemplar. Okay. And on the more peaceful, mellow side, we have the domestic kitten. Meow. 
Okay, so and it does have the the consonant, the double consonant. So we'll go ahead and write it under this one. So we have our vowel, our consonant, consonant, vowel. There we go. All right, let's take a close look um, at our words, and let's go back to tiger and kitten. Um, let's take a look at the vowel sound in the first vowel as it as it shows up. Okay, let's say it together. Tiger. Tie. Ah, that's a long vowel sound. Okay, so this this vowel sound right here is long. Okay, and if we come over here to this side where we have the consonants, the, the, the double consonants together, let's see what this vowel sound makes. Okay, together, kitten, i, i, as an igloo, so this is going to be short. So this vowel sound is going to be short. Tiger, I, diner, diner, diner. So this is going to be long as well. So each of these is going to be long, and then we have short on this side. Let's see if that holds true on this one. Dinner, di, like an igloo. Uh huh? That works. And let's check the one up on top. S uh, 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 like umbrella. S upper. That's definitely short. Okay. So, what do we know? When it's vowel, consonant, vowel, the first vowel sound is long. And when it's vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, the the first vowel sound is is short. Now we still need to address the the oddball issue. Let me get rid of these. Um, let's take a look at um, busy, for example. All right, there might be a few more than busy. So uh, as you guys go through, kind of look for for this issue. But um, as we look at busy. Um, Let's write it, and as we pronounce that that first that first vowel sound, it's not it's not long, and it's not short either. And I think that's what kind of separates it from um, these that are up on top, especially this one here, because again, it, it closely resembles the vowel consonant vowel vowel consonant vowel however this sound right here is what sets it apart and makes it an oddball and um, looks like it might be more like the schwa sound so kind of look um, for um, the oddball as you go but it looks like our main focus is vowel consonant vowel and vowel consonant consonant vowel so I'll turn the time over to you go ahead and finish sorting the rest of your words good luck Remember, students, the reason why we're doing this, so we can become better readers and writers, definitely better spellers. Um, this is due Thursday. Get her done. Do a good job. Bye for now.